You wanna know why brand awareness makes more than your music sales or the sales of music that you're trying to get? We'll find out next, coming up on the Music Money Makeover Show. What is going on, everybody? My name is Casey Graham. Welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show, all right? This episode is about brand awareness versus album sales. And I want to show you all the difference between the album sales and the brand awareness and what really matters and what you're actually doing when you create your albums or your music or your beats or whatever it is you're doing online, all right? Today's numbers are gonna be about the uh, Apple Music sales, all right? Or the iTunes sales, we're not gonna say Apple Music, we have to use the correct term. iTunes sales, and this can adapt to any sale platform you use, whether it be directly from your store, whether it be from uh, um, Bandcamp or any other place that sells digital download music, all right? That's what this is based on. Follow these numbers here. All right, so if we use iTunes and we wanna get to a magical million dollar number because that's where everybody wants to get to first. I wanna make a million dollars, right? That's the number out of the hat. Well, then we're gonna have to look at what Apple takes. So if we're gonna sell a 99 cent single and we're not gonna break all the royalties down, we're just gonna do Apple's cut. We're gonna take a 99 cent single and we're gonna take Apple's 30% cut, all right? And that's gonna leave us with about 69 cents, which would leave us with about 1,440,000 and one units needed to be sold in order to make $1 million in revenue. Hmm. Now, follow the logic here. We're doing a lot of work sitting in the studio, writing records, recording songs. We're doing all this stuff, right? And 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 we're putting time into our talents. It used to be back then, or not too not too long ago, like most people's mentality is focused on the major label deal. I sing, I dance, I want a deal. Let's do a deal and I can get my million dollars, which isn't your money by the way, and it will not stay your money and everybody's gonna put their hands in your money, in your million dollars before you can actually see a million dollars in your pocket that's your money. You're gonna borrow a million dollars and it's gonna look like it's yours, but it's not, okay? You get to your, your million dollar deal, your million dollar number, and you don't have a million dollars. At the same time, you don't have a million dollars when you do that 1.44 million sales of that one single. You might have a platinum record, but it's not giving you a million dollars. But there's one thing that happened in all of this, all right? And I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger right there because we gotta put one more formula in this. So let's turn that single into album sales. Now this one I have to pull out right here because uh, I, I can't remember the number. So $10, right, or $9.99 on Apple, uh, on iTunes, uh, minus the 30%, which is $2.97, will come up to $6.93 and we need to sell 144,300 units to get to $1 million in revenue. Now, I know that a lot of artists cannot get to this point on their own without some type of viral sensation constantly happening or some type of viral post or you learn the system so much, you learn search engine optimization so much. It does not happen that way and in order to get there, you're gonna to have to advertise and create content constantly, putting in time and money to get to those revenue numbers, all right? Not 144,000 streams, we're talking about 144,000 sales. Now, we're gonna to have to make this million dollars in revenue a lot easier for a lot of you all, right? Because it is very difficult to get there only doing music because why the public has already told you that they do not want to buy your music so much as they want to stream it first which means that in, before they give you one dollar in revenue not profit they will actually give you 0 0.003 some odd cents per stream to sample what it is you have and then you're hoping that they will become a fan after you put in all of this work and you shot your music video and you did the artwork for the cover and you blasted it out on social media, 
only to probably come back with about 100,000 streams max across the board, giving you about, oh, I don't know, what is that, 300 bucks maybe at that. Mm, not so, so much of a lucrative model here. So what you're really doing in the sense, and I said this in a previous video, is you're working on your brand awareness, all right? Me, I'm doing this video, I'm working on my brand awareness here, all right? That's what I'm doing, day, uh, weekly, week, uh, excuse me, week in and week out. You can contact me, 470-291-5767, The Music Money Makeover Show, Casey Graham's Music Money Makeover Show, all right? And I got it down here, and the branding's there. Brand awareness and branding. I have a pinkish t-shirt on. I have my red light color back here. I have my black and my red and my color scheme there. My branding, you get to see this every week. Does it make sense now? And now that I have my branding, I can create my brand awareness with this video that you are now seeing right now. If I want to bump it up, I can pay for ads. But if I was you as an artist, I would shoot a music video and I would pay for that. And I would run it on YouTube and Instagram, mainly YouTube, right? Around the related content that I want my, my music video to be seen in. Now, creatively paying for brand awareness. That's what we're doing to increase our brand alongside consistently creating content. All right? So... You say, all right, well, I, I get it. Well, actually, not yet. Because we've addressed our music sales. We've addressed the fact that we have to promote product. We have to promote this musical product to get, you know, our our uh, uh, our revenue. But after you get $10, you know, what is it that you can constantly bring to people to diversify your portfolio, so to speak? If people do that with stocks and real estate and all this, if you're an artist and you have music, if music is the only thing in your portfolio, it is not diversified. If you can follow my logic here, we must diversify this with interest in our audience so that when we open it up, we have a plethora of things that we can now sell to our audience. All right. And that's what I want to leave you with here. The key things that you have are your talent, right? and you're going to exploit that talent. And then now you're gonna have merchandise, whether it be the music itself and other things that you will now sell to an audience that you have, had, that you have built because of your consistent content. Very simple, right? But you have to peer into it to see through it. All right, anyway, um, that is not the end of the show. Do not click away from this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Download the Profit Maximization Checklist for free down below and download the Musician's Guide to Self-Publishing number one down below. I am working on Self-Publishing number two and we're working on a record label book as well, but you can download those right below or text me 470-291-5767, all right? And we can get on a one-on-one -on -one combo, all right? So, uh, and then you can text me any questions that you don't wanna drop on YouTube. Click subscribe down there because if you're still watching, you need to subscribe to this. All right, so let's jump into how to diversify our portfolio so we can create this brand awareness thing here. All right, brand awareness will make you more money than the actual music that it is you have. Okay, so I pulled a couple things from the internet. All right, this is an article that I bookmarked a while ago that I liked. Um, and I, I have a lot of backroom conversations with people about interest. And I'm gonna say your interest, and here's the funny thing about interest. Your interests are what's going to influence your audience and what you will influence people by. So here are a couple basic uh, interests that do well on YouTube. And then you'll see that a lot of people fall into this. All right, so check it out. Makeup, gaming, food and nutrition, fitness, tech, travel, fashion, sports, animals, humor, comedy, you know, uh, photography, music, hair care, home, health, and wellness. Now, I'm going to plug a, a, a documentary that I like here because it kind of 
shows how to utilize a common interest to pull in customers. All right, this is a documentary that I really love. It's called How to Make Money Selling Drugs, okay? Yes, it's it's really a documentary for that. I'll put it, I'll put the poster right here, okay? In the beginning of that movie, um, there's a guy, he's saying that if you have weed, right? All you have to do, if you wanna get some sales on weed, roll it up, spark it up, smoke it. And eventually somebody will say, hey man, what's up? Pass it around, what's up? Let me hit that. Where you get this from? Yo, you need something? Yeah, man, let me, what's up? What's the price on it? And immediately like that, the common interest of the weed has now produced a customer, all right? Here's a common thing for all you beat makers to build brand awareness. Follow this. If I went to Guitar Center, which a lot of you all do, and you take your beats up there every day, right? Maybe the weekend, and you play your beats over the speakers, okay? Somebody gonna say, yo, that's dope, that's fly. Man, what, you, you, got a, you got a SoundCloud, you got a, what's up? You got a YouTube, Instagram, whatever, let's just collab. You know, you have a customer. If you go into Guitar Center and you play on the keys, yo, what's up, man? That's, that's fly. I like that. I like what you're doing. You want to collab? You want to, how do, what do you do? You're networking. You're building your customer base. If you make a beat on the MPCs or beat machines there, somebody will say, hey, man, I like that. I like what you got going on. What's up? All right. It's the same concept. If you go, let's say you go to a beauty store for all the ladies out there and you got your face beat looking fly all of that and you go in there oh my gosh who did your makeup oh girl that's so that's amazing right I, you got what I did it myself what you did you gotta show me some tricks girl blah 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 blah, blah. well let's hook up blah, blah. common interests will now be your influence so music is great if you want to influence people with music, you have to be in a place where people want to hear that music. And it, music is not the easiest thing to sell, but common interests are. And you could sell music all day, but it's very, very difficult to bring in a customer of new music because there is so much of it out there, right? Versus the common interest of things that you need every day. Imagine this now, if I make music and I like to cook, which shout out to Archie Beats, I'm gonna drop Archie Beats, uh, his, his YouTube right here, and you can go check him out. But he's a cook, right? But he's a, a awesome musician. And those are his two interests, food and music. So he has two pulls. He has his talent, and then he has his, uh, other interest, which is food and knowing how to cook. So he can pull in two different audiences at the same time, building brand awareness of his whole persona. And that's what I want you to understand is that your music is that tiny little piece right here in the, in the whole, in the all of everything. Okay. All right. Now I know this video today was a bit of a rambling, but I wanted to come and just kind of give a message. I didn't want to structure it too, too much today. I wanted to be straightforward and frank. And I think that if I could be like this for a lot of you all, then maybe you could get the inspiration to do something more so than just, you know, understanding contracts, this, that, and the third, which I do. I do have a video coming up on contracts. Uh, shout out to the person who requested me to do a beat license agreement video. And I told him I would do one based off the beat stars agreement. So that's coming. All right. Download the profit maximization checklist below. And then also download the musician's guide to self publishing below. Click subscribe down here. Click like, drop a comment, please. And text me 470-291-5767. And don't forget this is the music money makeover show. All right. Subscribe, subscribe and share. All right, I know I give a lot of information and people think that it's like, it's like, well, I think they say, like, oh man, you helped me so much, but please share the show. I, I, that's, that's why I do it. Please share, 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 playlist it, all that stuff. Anyway, I will see you all next week. Peace.